to Yaya Ghanem. He joins us now here in the studio. He's a Middle East, Al Jazeera's a Middle East analyst. I mean, as Mimi was saying, it's very hard, isn't it, to overestimate the importance of this man, Shimon Peres, Israel's last remaining founding father. What legacy is he going to leave? Well, exactly, as she stated, he, he is uh, one of the last uh, 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 founding fathers of the state of Israel, except for Sholomit Aloni. I think, uh, I think she's the, one, the mm -hmm. last one alive now. Uh, so th the man has contributed greatly to the establishment of his uh, state. Uh, he played key roles politically and also in the defense. He is the uh, legitimate father of the nuclear bomb of Israel. Uh, uh, and also the man, I came to know him personally because oh. I interviewed him several times, mm. uh, being a journalist assigned to cover the Israeli affairs. So I met him and I interviewed him several times in many countries, including Israel. He, he was a very down-to-earth politician, and uh, uh, he, is, he was one of those politicians that never expected something back mm -hmm. in return of what he contributed to his country. And that is apart from, from me being an Egyptian Arab and him being uh, an Israeli leader. I mean, Many elder statesmen sort of disappear from public sphere, as one would expect, as they reach their later years. He was 93 years old, and yet he remained active right up until the end. I mean, right up until the morning he was hospitalized, he was on Facebook pushing for Israelis to buy local food. Well, Paris was a very different kind of leadership. Uh, he was unique in many ways. Uh, he was a true leader. Uh, but in the meantime, ironically, he never he was never popular in his own country as a politician and that, that was reflected in his failure in just about all the elections general elections mm. he led the labor party in uh, he only won two elections uh, and that was the uh, uh, as far as i can remember the 1994 one and the 2000 uh, elections. Uh, uh, other than that, he failed big time to win any public vote. Uh, and that was ironic for a man who contributed greatly to his state. Uh, maybe one of the reasons why uh, he never gained such popularity uh, versus uh, his, his fellow leaders, uh, the Israeli leaders, is, is the fact that uh, he never, he was never in the military. And that was quite rare. Uh, for uh, an Israeli leader, and especially an Israeli leader who belonged to that generation of the founding uh, uh, generation of the state of Israel. And yet, he, uh, the sense that I'm getting is that he's going to be revered by Israelis yes. as one of their favorite politicians of, of all time. That, that was uh, something, another, another ironic thing, because uh, throughout most of his life, he never, he never managed to gain popularity but uh, when he assumed presidency, and the presidency in, in Israel is just a symbolic mm. thing, it's, mm. uh, 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 and uh, that is when, and during, during his last few years in his life, he started having popularity, and that was for a post uh, that uh, didn't, didn't uh, uh, take him to be elected. Mm. He was chosen by the Knesset. So when he assumed that post, a symbolic post, he started to gain popularity. That's an, an, another ironic thing. And he Perez. was widely respected. We'll see that at the state funeral. Yes. We see, as Mimi said, all these world leaders um, arriving to pay their respects. But what were his critics saying about him? Well, uh, internally, I mean, the, the criticism for Perez internally uh, was different than the criticism he had. Uh, uh, outside Israel. Internally, uh, m most of the Israeli public looked upon him, as I told you before, as a leader with no military background. Mm. Uh, although he, as I said before, he is the, f the, the, the legitimate father of the nuclear weapon, Israeli nuclear, nuclear weapon. Uh, but in the meantime, most of the public looked upon him as a very uh, pragmatic, too pragmatic politician. Uh, and uh, well, in my view, in my view, uh, th that that shouldn't have been held against uh, mm -hmm. against the man, because I mean this is the way, uh, with uh, w the way it goes with most of the politicians. But th that was actually uh, his outlook in front of the of the Israeli public, too pragmatic.
Yeah, yeah, Gellum, thanks very much for coming in this early hour onto the set here in Doha. Appreciate your thoughts.